Welcome back to the sawmill, guys. Uh, today I got a cherry log about eight feet, five inches long. I'm going to make some uh, mixed floorboards out of it. Uh, it's going in a cabin that's going to have different different boards on it. Uh, oak, some lighter wood, some darker woods. I know I'm going to be having some cherry in it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, 12 inches on the small end, 13 inches on the big end. And uh, we're here in West Michigan today. It's actually a little warm. I think I'm uh, a little overdressed. It's about 32 degrees. Uh, I guess that's uh, that's Fahrenheit, minus one Celsius for the Canadians and those others. Um, we got a little bit of snow. I just got the mill all cleaned up. It's warmed up, so let's see what happens. Well, guys, I don't want to bore you with the cutoffs, so but I want out of the woods this. forestry. I'll put a link to his. Uh, YouTube page on here. However, if you, if you cut both sides 180 degrees apart from each other and then flip it up, you can put the log dog cam stops on it and you can get it square and I can move this thing to fine tune it. However, I'm pretty close right now. So it's gonna give us good square lumber. Nothing's worse than having lumber come off pretty crooked. Another point, always put these things down. You will hit one eventually. I haven't hit the uh, stops yet, or though I'm sorry, the uh, log stops. Yeah, I'm sorry, the backside. I. Uh, I'm more than that is. We're gonna end up with about a ten by nine and a half, ten by nine. Can we're gonna start making boards now? I'm gonna leave the camera on. Check it out. We'll see how it looks. I'll, I'll give you a view here. Hey guys, check out the grain on this. Yeah, I'm missing a few teeth, I know that. This is a blade I sharpened, but look at the looks of that. That's what we're looking for, guys. That's gonna make some nice flooring. Wow, looks great.
one cherry log. I got eight one by tens. Well, technically seven one by tens and one three quarter inch by ten. So about fifty board feet. So that was a that was a good good log. It was clear. There's not many knots, just a couple of knots in it. So it was good. Um, a couple things I, you may have noticed. I got a tarp down on the other side, catching the sawdust. Let me show you. Problem you have with the snow. is I'm afraid that sawdust gets up on the ground and then it snows and sawdust and snows and I'll be dealing with this stuff until July around here. You know, they used to, they did experiments with uh, ice, I'm sorry, water and sawdust making uh, aircraft carriers out of them. Pretty interesting. But anyhow, hey, what's your favorite tool around your woodshed? You know, you got to have a few of them. There's a few of them that are pretty handy. Um, right now, I'm still parbuckling my logs up, these two ramps, with my quads winch. Um, I do have another winch I'm going to start using here shortly, but I'm, I need to fabricate a part yet to anchor the winch to the mill. Um, but I like the cants. I got uh, three of them. I got that little short cant that came with the mill. I ordered that when I got the mill from Norwood. Then I got the log right. I bought this one. This is a four footer. Then I have another one on the wall in here. I got a, I don't know how long that is. A short, a little less than four foot. I never measured it. Then we got this little two man carrier. Um, those two my cousin gave me. That log right and, and that log carrier. So those are some of my favorites. Okay guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments or any uh, things I can do better. Uh, anybody want to sponsor me a tractor? That would be awesome. No, I'm just kidding. I do have a farm all M. I would like to get something with a bucket eventually. Uh, maybe a grapple. You know, I see those guys putting them on the mill with that. But uh, what I'm doing seems to work. So, all right, guys. Have a great day. Make a day out of it.